7.45 a.m. in the morning and this is my own personal respect to the war memorial area this morning all being set up I must leave you all now here as I must carry on now to do my own work today. This simply my own personal respect on this day. Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to Blackpool on this day the 10th of November 2019 and you join me at Water's Edge. There's the North Pier and if I go round nice and slowly you will see the Central Pier and as said I'm right on the Water's Edge here. Now first of all, I wish to thank every single person, that's every one of you, for watching my videos. I appreciate very much. Now today's video, on this Sunday, my Sunday review, I hope to go an awful lot of places. Our usual venues and that cafe as well that I visited earlier and also one other shop if I have the time. So I've got to press on now. It's just after eight o'clock in the morning and it is one cracking morning. It really is a superb morning on this winter's day. So I do hope you enjoy this one Thank you again. I'm off now to start the video. Our first venue, just after eight o'clock in the morning. The Premier Insight. So much happening here. The bathroom pods. Now what I'm told is that on the top story there's a couple of the bathroom pods already fitted. Now these are most interesting items. I'm told that they come out of the case that they're in and they're just slotted in to the actual bathroom which is all plumbed in with the pipework. I hastily add, at the moment, this site has no water. However, some pods are already fitted here. There's that hoist there, the blue hoist, all ready to start work. Yes, this hoist now is fully operational when all the furniture etc arrives for this Premier Inn. A full frontal view now. Now this is the front of the Premier Inn site. All coming along very nicely and how well that white sandstone stands out 
with the facing bricks next door. That concludes our visit today to the Premier Inn. We are now at the entrance of our next venue and across the road is the Abingdon Barbecue, the Dean's Gate. That's where we're going to go, up this street here and also to Edward Street. There is quite a lot of information that I can offer you up this street today so I'm going to take it nice and slowly and carefully. Firstly pointing out that there was a video earlier this week and you saw the gas pipe actually in progress of fitting. Well there we are you can see what's happened all the pipe work is finished here and what's got to be done now is simply for those flagstones to be laid. It's surprising how things can be all, all finalised and all coming to a close. And here we are now at the start of our next part of the walk up this street here. Now the first thing I have to tell you is this. If I turn round to my left you will see the two cafes that I usually show. Regretfully Auntie Bees, that's that one you're looking at there, Auntie Bees. I am told that last weekend was the last day of trading. I'm almost certain and I can tell you that this is now permanently closed. This is what I'm told Auntie Bees is now permanently closed. We start our walk now along here. Now I must again just simply tell you that this is Sunday, Sunday and in front you will see contractors here from the gas company. Yes they are working today along this area. Please notice across the road all the anti-terrorist posts. And here again I can show you this side which also will soon have those same posts here. Yes this gas pipe has held them up a bit here. Now, if I show you across the road that very large premises that used to be called Blacks. I told you a couple of videos ago that I had news about this. Well, I can release that news now and the news is that that large shop I've just got to move carefully back so as I get the full correct angle of it that large yellow shop it contains three or four units it has actually a new owner yes these premises are now sold and there is a new owner I'm not certain at the moment the plans for it however I'm sure 
that work will start very very soon here. Now continuing our walk we're nearly at the top now because the Washington Public House is coming into view on the other side of the road. Now the lower part of the Washington is already painted and in the near future when scaffold can be placed the top part will be painted. That's the reason why the top part hasn't been painted. There's not enough room yet for the scaffold. Now that's that area that takes us into Edward Street. However, that's also blocked at the moment. Right at the top now and we can see the contractors at work on this Sunday morning. Very good morning, very good morning, very good morning to you. Yourself, thank you, thank you. There we are, there's another part of the trench there. Oh. Morning, morning, morning. Thank you very much for this. No, that pro that proves the saying. <laughs> that proves the saying. There is no peace for the wicked. <laughs> now to get to Edward Street, I've just got to go round the block. I won't be many minutes. I will see you there. Welcome back, and we are now at Edward Street. There's the rear of Abingdon Street Market and here I can walk you down Edward Street. Marvellous, marvellous progress here. Oh yes it's I can I can nearly visualize everything here now how it will look when it's all completed just coming to this this new shop here let's have a look see what's going on uh, coming along very nicely yes I'm told this is a or will be a vegetarian cafe all the curbing in place here now And also across the road that side will soon be open I'm told for for the public to walk down just got to be careful there's a couple of steps here there we are, I'm safely down those and across the road you can see all the lovely tiles there of the lay-by. And of course I'll quickly just mention that big property there is in fact the rear of the old post office which is now fully passed to be converted into a 102 roomed hotel. I'll be covering that after our visit here. Our 
two pieces of plant machinery across the road and a clear view here all coming together very very nice so I think this will conclude our visit along these two streets here silly me I can walk you down this side this other side because they've made this special sign and also access to get to the hairdressers look look at the sign access to hairdressers only no through route no th no through route and also the access to the Samaritans I will show you a view of the whole length of this Edward Street and now what I'm going to do is to walk you quickly down this side I don't want to be too long because of the length of the visit so I think I'm going to leave it it's just the entrance to the barber shop that's that down the bottom there so we'll proceed to our next venue now and as promised a full frontal view of the old post office of Blackpool which last week one day last week yes I yes it was firework day the November the 5th approval was passed for this to be made into a 102 roomed hotel with shops etc and everything you expect to find within a project like this I have a report earlier on my previous video all about this I'll quickly add the telephone kiosks across the road they're of great interest to so many people they will stay they will always stay as they are listed now to conclude our visit here I would like to say that there may be some more news about this property that's as much as I can tell you at the moment but expect possibly in the near future or in the future something else to trans to transpire which relates to the whole of this property not the build of it but but something that that relates to it that's all I can say as it's not confirmed yet or known our next venue on the left about 50 yards is the winter gardens and if I go to my left we enter Leopold Grove which is the home of Blackpool's new conference centre let's pay another visit there it looks a very very sturdy building it really does very very impressive indeed let's have a, a walk down here oh yes floors and ceilings all in place I came down here for the first time I believe last week very impressed I was a beautiful build
Ah, oh, here we are. We have a nice, a nice notice and a sign here. It tells you everything. Who's funding it, etc. Just go around the corner here. This is the entrance of the site here. And again, to use that word again, impressive. Coming along really very nicely. I am really enjoying myself this morning. It's a marvellous, marvellous crisp morning and things are and have gone so all very so well for me today. So here we are, this is Wilco and I'm told that in March or April work will start here on the build of the hotel known as Holiday Inn Express. It's very very important that I give it the full correct title Holiday Inn Express. Yes there is also a Holiday Inn however they're two different venues two different venues offering two various forms of service and star rating. This is a Holiday Inn Express. Now I'm just going to walk you a short way to show everybody whereabouts we are. This town is not massive and all the venues that we visit also very very handy for all the entertainment and leisure areas all the theatres all the amusement arcades the seafront and the winter gardens etc now this venue here in front just coming up you can see a sign of Blackpool North Station so if you arrive at Blackpool on the train and you want a hotel there we are there's one right slap bang in front of you the Holiday Inn Express now what I'm going to do now as said I'm enjoying myself very very much on this crisp lovely day I'm going to return to Waterloo Road and that very very nice cafe that we visited and also if possible another shop so I'll see you there the Sands Venue Resort Hotel I can walk you round here, the two sides and the front of this build. She looks like she's done no fixed abode. We are. And as you can see, along this first side of two the flooring taking place now and oh have a look at this how clear and open now this build is look a complete a complete clear view from one side to the other 
just crossing over again. Now, incredibly enough, we have already seen contractors at work today on the build. I can also tell you that I can hear noise and also see movement of a plant machine. And yes, let's see what's going on. We have a contractor at work here. Even on this Sunday, work is taking place here. And oh, I can tell you, the progress made during this week here, absolutely incredible. Oh, he's clearing up. There was a lot of bricks, etc. here, and this contractor is removing it all. A colossal mountain of actual brick, etc. All in this area. And our usual view of the front of this build. and our usual view from the front to the rear of this build. Please notice all the pieces of plant machinery here today. And this is a view of the second of the two sides, right by the amusement arcade. We are now at the rear of this build, and this is where hopefully you will see all the major progress at this build. Please notice all the flooring. Yes, coming along leaps and bounds, this hotel build, which will be Blackpool's only five-star hotel on the promenade. Incredibly enough, we are again at the first side that we visited and there is another contractor here. Can you see he's lobbing down bricks now? Even on a Sunday. So that just shows you what is going on every effort made to get this to get this huge build finished now this with a view of this contractor throwing down bricks into the skip we end our visit to the sands venue resort hotel and here comes our tram to take us to waterloo road that's very, very handy indeed. No time to wait at all. Have just left the tram and we are now at Waterloo Road. Just a quick look across the road to the orange security boards there and this is the site of the Easy Hotel. 97 rooms, over 30 of which have no windows. 
So we're now going to make our way to that very very nice cafe that we visited just recently. Just entering Waterloo Road now. Now i just quickly tell you that Easy Hotel now that's part of the group the Easy Jet that holiday and aeroplane company so this is Easy Hotel part of the Easy Jet company and across the road you can see that very large blue property of hearts what a shame nobody can do anything with this it's very very well situated just yards I'm just going to turn back just a matter of a few paces from the actual seafront what a shame nobody can come along and try something here here we are now we're at the road we're at the street now where we want to be to arrive at the Potter's Inn Cafe. Just up here, not very far at all. Just coming into view now with a lovely, lovely frontage. Here we are, the Potter Inn, a family run cafe. We are now in the cafe itself, half of it because it's split into two and on my left there's all lots and lots of people here having their morning breakfast. Now this, this section here provides wonderful wonderful seating if you want to after your meal you can come and have a cup of tea or coffee and and sit in this area here it's lovely now it's from here that I will make this video the purpose of my visit today is to explain something and that is this cafe now operates winter opening hours only that's the Friday the Saturday and the Sunday We'll quickly add that this cafe is open Christmas Eve and the day after Christmas. Also New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So there's four very very interesting days that you can come along and enjoy a nice meal in this cafe. I'm very thankful to all the people that have visited this this cafe after my first video here I would like to thank you all very very much and I'm sure that you enjoyed your meal very very much so yes that was the purpose of the visit here today to just say winter hours only from here Friday Saturday and the Sunday I do hope that everybody can visit here on those days and also the Christmas period and the New Year's period that I mentioned earlier now we are just a matter of about a hundred yards from that cafe and we are again in Waterloo Road there's the promenade right down the end there and there's a little story here which I would like to convey to you the story concerns the shop across the road the wood carving shop a most interesting story 
on my last video a subscriber left a message I thank him for it very much and this is what he told me he visited Blackpool on a coach during his visit he found this very very nice interesting shop here and purchases were made on arrival at the coach with these carvings the coach never allowed the visitor to bring the carvings on board yet that's the story the driver never allowed that nice visitor to bring his carvings onto the coach so that left an awkward position for my subscriber well what he done was he returned to this shop the wood carving shop and much to his surprise the proprietor whose name is Tam drove him home an incredible interesting story yes he was taken home with his carvings that he liked very much now we have an invite to go inside here so I'm just going to go inside there's nobody else in the shop and I have an invite from Tam the proprietor to view all his carvings etc a wonderful story so it just shows you what can happen yes I think these big bonds were the ones that we're talking about which caused the problem on the coach it was obviously the larger ones that caused the problem and I'm told there were several of them so if you are in the area of Waterloo Road please please pop in and Tam will let you have a look round at all these very very nice carvings etc so I'm just going to say thank you to Tam and make my way home now Across the road, Waterloo Road, where we've just left, and there's the orange security boards of the Easy Hotel, and we are right on the promenade of the South Pier, and in the background you can see Blackpool Tower. And it is from here that I would like to close today's Sunday survey video up. Again, I wish to thank everybody, every single person who watches my videos, very, very much. It means a lot to me. And also, I do hope that you have enjoyed this one. Thank you ever so much. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'm off home now to edit this and upload it to YouTube. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.